Hey guys, I'm back with a new video and these lashes are itching me. I'm sorry. Okay. Ooh, okay. I'm back with a new video and today's video is going to be a what's in my travel makeup bag video. And this is the makeup bag that I took. We actually just came back from a trip to Dallas, Texas. And I took this makeup bag with me. And just real quick, I just want to tell you guys a little bit about my trip because it was absolutely amazing. My cousin actually got married and I was the matron of honor. So I was super honored and super excited to go. Um, I was sad that I had to leave my little babies at home. You guys know I have two little girls. So I was really sad that I had to leave them at home. But it was it was really nice um, just to get away as well. So we went to Dallas and the weather, first of all, is beautiful. We left it was snowing when we left here in Cleveland so we got to Dallas it was like 80 degrees it was like oh yes it's on and popping and then we came back to freezing cold weather which also sucked but whatever um that's Cleveland so um yeah it was just really nice it was a really great getaway the wedding was absolutely beautiful and I got to meet pretty girl Angie now if you guys have been living under a rock and don't know who pretty girl Angie is she's a makeup artist here on YouTube I will actually link her channel down below if you haven't seen her she's absolutely gorgeous and absolutely so sweet and so talented she did my cousin's makeup so um all the bridesmaids were getting their makeup done I was getting my makeup done at the time and she just walks in and I'm like what and the makeup artist that's doing my makeup she like looked over too and she's like oh my god and I'm like oh my god and we were just extra excited to see her but she was just super sweet and oh my gosh she did an amazing job on my cousin's makeup not to say that the makeup artist that did our makeup wasn't great because she was but Pretty Girl Angie did an amazing job with my cousin's makeup. I'm going to actually insert a picture of my cousin right here. But yeah. So that was really great. There was also some great shopping in Dallas. I did like actually a lot of makeup shopping. Um, I went to their Ulta in Plano, Texas. And I went to the Sephora at the Galleria. Um, and I got some stuff there and yeah, so I was really excited about that. So there will be a haul coming up as well very soon. But right now, let's get into the video. I've rambled enough. What's in my travel makeup bag? Okay, so again, this is the bag that I take for my makeup usually when I go out of town. This is the Modella. It's just a Modella travel bag. And I believe I got this from Walmart some years ago. And basically it opens up, whoa, it opens up like this. And you have all of this space to put all of this makeup in. Which depending on who you are, like if you're me, that's a bad thing. Because you end up overpacking your makeup, which I did. But that's alright because I know y'all want to see it anyway. So, now before I start this video, I do want to say that you don't need all this makeup when you go traveling. I probably didn't use half the stuff that I brought, but I'm just one of those people that chronically overpack and I just like to feel prepared. If there's something that I don't have, that's definitely the thing that I'm going to be looking for when I go out of town. So, I just like to feel prepared. So, I overpacked. You definitely don't need this much makeup when you go out of town, but this is what I packed, so... The first thing that I packed that could not fit, actually fit in this travel bag, it was an eyeshadow palette. And of course, it was my beloved Too Faced chocolate bar. Just dropped something. Okay. But of course, it was my beloved Too Faced chocolate bar palette. I have told you guys about this palette before. I absolutely love it. I'm not going to speak too much about these products only because um, I have a lot of stuff to get through. And I don't want this to be a 30 minute video. But um, I just want to say that I think this product is very versatile and you can create so many eye looks. Daytime looks, nighttime looks, smoky eye looks, whatever you want with this palette. So that was definitely a no brainer. The other no brainer that I brought is also the Anastasia Contour Kit. And this is the actually the original contour kit. This isn't the medium to dark one, which I actually think I want to get. But this is the original contour kit. I absolutely love this. It's great for travel, very slim. And you have your setting powder in here as well as your contour shades. Next we'll move to lips. I have 
a sick amount of lip products that I brought with me traveling like literally this is all lip products which is way too many and again I didn't use half of them but um it's what I wanted to bring so I brought this many actually I lied this many okay I lied again hold on a couple more things couple more things wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute okay I actually brought this many lip colors which whatever it's too many I know the first one is the MAC lip color and this is candy yum yum you guys have seen this before okay, I'm gonna go through these super fast next I have YSL in the color number two the rouge volupt lipsticks and it's just a nice nude I brought Rebel by MAC, which is one of my favorite lipsticks ever. I have Creme, Creme de Nude by MAC. You always need a nude lipstick when you go out of town, duh. I brought Cream Cup by MAC, like a pinky nude. Riri Woo. You guys know that's my ish right there. I brought Diva by Mac. I also brought one of the Too Faced Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipsticks. And this is in Melted Sugar. And I did like my signature nude lip with it. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll link it below. But I just love this to do my like my signature nude lip now. I have a Kat Von D studded lipstick in Lolita. Another Kat Von D shade. This is one of the, um, what is this? The Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. And this is in the color Berlin. And this is just like a little small travel size. And then I brought this, um, what is this? The Satin Lip Pencil from NARS in Rakujian? Rakujian? I don't know how to say that y'all. That's the color. And then I brought a Wet n Wild Velvet Matte Lip Color in the color Fashion Darling. And that's the color right there. So those are my lipsticks. And then I bought lip pencils. Brought lip pencils as well. I brought Night Moth from MAC. Um, Fuchsia from NYX. What is this? Brown from NYX. Nude Pink from NYX. I brought this um, Cabaret from Jordana. Cabaret? Yeah. From Jordana. And then Mauve from NYX. Alright, so next I'm just going to go through the rest of this bag. Nothing is going to be in order. Um, I'm just going to go through the bag as it's in here. So I'm just going to open up a pocket and pull it out. I have the MAC Prep and Prime. Um, this is the Prep and Prime Highlighter in Bright Forecast. I love this for highlighting underneath the eyes. Perfect. I also have a little perfume in here. This is the Gucci Guilty Intense. Gucci Guilty, the Gucci Guilty line has to be like my favorite perfume ever. I love the Gucci Guilty Intense. I love the Gucci Guilty Black. And I also love the regular, just regular Gucci Guilty. The perfume It's just so sexy and seductive. I love it. But anyway, I got the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Deep. I love to set my luminous foundations with this to make sure that they are not too matte and it doesn't take away from the luminosity of the foundation. Also have the Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer. I think I've showed you guys this, showed you guys this before. I love this. I have a little pair of scissors to clean up my brows. Remember not to take this on your carry-on if you're carrying scissors with you though while traveling, please. And the last thing in this pocket is the Lorac Pro Brow Pencil. And this one's in the color Dark Brown. And I really love this brow pencil. Um, I use this most of the weekend. 
Next pocket, I have one of the foundations that I bought, I brought, and this is the Becca Evermatte Shine Proof Foundation. I've definitely done a full review on this, so if you want to see what I thought about this, definitely check out that review. I'll have it linked. For primers, I brought the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer and the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer, and this is the Oil Free Pore Minimizing one. So I used those together and they worked so well keeping my face on in the heat. The NYX Conceal Correct and Contour Palette definitely came in handy this weekend as well, or last weekend as well, because it was enough concealer to help me clean up my brows. Also, there was a concealer in there to cover up any blemishes that I had. And I did. I had a pimple like right here. For some reason, as soon as I wanted to get out of town, I got a pimple. I got some mess. Anyway, so that was my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I also brought the um, Stila Eyeshadow in the color Kitten, which is a definite favorite of mine. So pretty. And then I have the Makeup Forever Eyeshadow Duo. This is the Artist Palette, or the Artist Shadows. I have no freaking idea which shadows these are. But yeah, those two. And a blush, this is for a tart blush in the color Amore. Very gorgeous pink. Down to my last little pocket here, I have another blush, and this is Becca's Blush in Damselfly. Pretty, pretty. Another Becca product, I brought a Becca highlight, and this is in Moonstone, and it's one of my favorite highlighters ever. It's a super light one though, so if you're like like a little darker than me, you probably won't like this, but I love it. Another blush. This is the NARS blush in Lester, another absolute favorite of mine. This is Max Brown Scripts eyeshadow I brought. This is like the perfect transition color. No matter what look you're going for, this works. Also, the L'Oreal Infallible um, Lacquer Eyeliner. Eye, eyeliner, yeah, gel eyeliner. And this is in the color Blackest Black. I showed this to you guys in my favorites video, I believe. We got some lashes and some lash glue in here, of course. This is the, these are the Coco Lashes. These are the Goddess. And I have them on my eyes right now, but they're so, so gorgeous. And then I have the Ardell Glamour Wispies. And these are just the black ones. And then, of course, my lash glue. I brought the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder, which was great to just set my foundation as well as touch up throughout the day. Another brow product, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Chocolate. What else did I bring in here? We have an eye primer. This is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, just the regular. A concealer, the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, which is a definite favorite of mine. We have the Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray. The LA Girl Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer. And I brought the color Medium Bisque. I just have two eyeliners next, and one is the Wet n Wild um, Brow and Eyeliner Pencil, and it's just a black eyeliner pencil. And the other one is one that I mentioned on my channel before. This is the Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner by L'Oreal, the little small chubby one. Last three products, I have a pigment here, and this is by MAC, and it's in Melon. I can't hold on to it. So I brought that one, a highlighter, this is by Benefit, this is the What's Up, just a very pretty like cream highlighter, 
And last but not least, I have my mascara. And I ended up taking the Lorac Pro, um, what is this, Lengthening and Thickening Mascara in black. And I got this... I got this when I ordered my Lorac 2 palette. I believe I ordered it from QVC and this actually came with it. A full size Lorac mascara and the wand is just gorgeous. And my first time using it was this weekend so I was pleasantly surprised and pleased with it. So yeah. Alright you guys, so that is all I took with me to Dallas on my trip in my travel makeup bag. I didn't want to show you guys the makeup brushes that I took because I felt like the video would just be way, way too long. So if you guys do want to see the brushes that I recommend taking when you're traveling, definitely leave me a comment down below and thumbs up this video. And I can certainly get that video out to you guys if you're interested. Um, I think that is all my housekeeping. Oh, this lip color. Hold on. Alright, so you guys will definitely see this lip color in a haul very soon, but I did grab the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick, and this is in the color Patina, and oh my god, honey, I have been rocking this freaking lipstick like nobody's business. Like, I can't keep my hands off of it. It's so, so freaking pretty. So... I love it um but that's the lip color I'm wearing on my lips if you were interested like I said you will be seeing this in a haul very soon but I couldn't wait and I had to show you guys this lip color today all right you guys so I think that is it um if you have any questions comments concerns definitely leave them down below don't forget to comment rate and subscribe as well and also my blog email social media everything will be linked down below so you can follow me if you would like and I think that is it. I love you guys. Thank you so much for your love and support. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.